Backing counts as a very small percentage of a driver's driving time, but backing can result in significant damage when done too quickly or if you do it incorrectly. Get used to taking precautions and learning the skills needed to do it right. Never back up if you don't have to. Sure, we both know that's easier said than done. And since you're going to have to back up eventually, remember to take your time and be sure to check out the situation. Here's why. You see, backing is gonna limit your visibility. There will always be a blind spot that constantly moves as you back. On top of blind spots, the tractor and trailer are gonna follow different paths. It takes practice, patience, and skill to get it right and do it safely. Now take every chance you can to drive forward when parking, even if you end up a little farther away. This is more common at truck stops and waysides, but take advantage of it anywhere you can. When you do need to back up, take it seriously. Be patient and use good judgment. Mistakes like not paying attention can result in lost time, lost wages, additional paperwork, damage costs, and even the loss of your job. Be prepared every time you back your tractor trailer. Some simple things. Cut out noise and other distractions. That means shutting off anything that makes sound. Your radio, CB, cab fans, and your personal phone. You do want to hear what's happening outside, so roll down your window. Now, stop the truck. Set the parking brake and turn on the four-way flashers. If you shut off the engine, pocket the keys. Use three points of contact to get out and look. We call it goal. It's probably not the first time you've heard of goal, but it really can save you. Walk around and check all sides of your vehicle. Look for any people or equipment, parked vehicles or debris. Map out the path you want to use to back the vehicle in. Walk from your truck to the loading dock and make sure you've got a clear path. Check for ground level, eye level, and overhead obstructions. Some dangers include curbs, guardrails, loading dock posts, parked cars, power lines, and overhead signs. Get out and look as many times as needed to make sure it's safe to back up. You can never be too careful. All right. We've covered the general guidelines for backing, like safety checks and what to look out for. Now let's drive into the techniques you'll use to get the job done. Steering while backing is a technique that takes practice. Three basic principles will get you started. There's jacking, chasing, and following. They may be second nature to experienced drivers, but it can be difficult knowing the right combinations. First off, Always steer in the opposite direction you want the trailer to move. This is called jacking, because the trailer will jack, or move in the opposite direction of the way you turn the steering wheel. If you want the trailer to jack to the right, turn the steering wheel to the left. Any change to the tractor's direction of travel will also change the trailer's direction of travel. Chasing means steering just enough for the tractor to follow the path of the trailer when you're trying to back up straight. If the trailer drifts off path, turn the steering wheel in the direction of the drift to correct the trailer's path. Now there's a third principle you'll use called following. This involves turning the steering wheel toward the trailer. When this is done correctly, the tractor trailer angle will remain constant and the tractor will follow the trailer around the backward turn. The docking situation and any nearby obstacles are going to determine what backing maneuver you'll choose. You'll figure it out as you map your path and look for obstructions. Straight line backing is the easiest backing maneuver to perform. First, line up your vehicle and trailer so you have as straight a shot as possible. Back slowly, but don't get overconfident just because it's easy. Get out and look again if you're ever unsure of the situation. Alley dock backing, or curved backing, starts by approaching the alley at a right angle with the dock area on your left. Check your left mirror for clearance.
Turn left to get the rear of the trailer as close to the alley as possible. Now check your right side for clearance. The tractor and trailer should be ready for the second step. Straighten your steering to stay as close to the alley as possible. Check for clearance over on the right side. When the nose of the trailer passes the alley, you're going to turn the wheel to the right. Keep your forward path in mind and turn hard left when the tractor has used three quarters of the forward space. Sometimes you won't have the luxury of reaching the dock with a straight line back. You may need to use jackknife backing to position your tractor at an angle if the spot is only big enough for the trailer or to keep the tractor out of traffic. Side side jackknife backing is used when you need to back and turn toward the driver's side. This lets you see the trailer's path out of your left mirror. Now, unfortunately, that does mean you won't be able to see the area to the right of your rig. Make sure your air and electrical lines are long enough and won't be torn off or pinched. Start off by pulling past the dock while parallel to it. Then check your clearance. Next, think about the path your trailer is going to travel. Follow the same steps as alley dock backing or offset backing as seen here. Back up until the rear wheels are four to eight feet from the turning point. Then turn your wheel to the right. The trailer will be backing in a line that allows the tractor to follow at about a 15 degree angle. You can imagine why blindside backing would be difficult. Anytime you back to the right side of your vehicle, you can't see the back end of your trailer. First off, never blindside back unless it's absolutely necessary. If this really is your best option, always use a qualified spotter. Agree on hand signals and where your spotter will be standing. Start off by positioning the vehicle properly, as with the sight side jackknife maneuver except facing the opposite direction. Offset backing is the most difficult backing maneuver. One type of offset backing is parallel parking. Look for other options and use offset backing only if you have to. This technique may also help if the trailer did not wind up directly in front of the target. That's actually why it's called offset backing. First, drive past the spot, leaving about three to eight feet from the end of your trailer to the opening. Next, make a thorough check of the area for clearances and obstructions. Work with a spotter to help with this maneuver. Backing can challenge even the most experienced drivers. You have to deal with blind spots and obstructions. The good news is you can avoid accidents with patience and good judgment. Check your path, get assistance from a qualified spotter, apply the right steering technique for the situation, and take your time to back up safely every time.